Hello, baby. Good day. We're viewing set 75945 Spectre Patronum. There's 121 pieces and it retails for twenty for twenty dollars in the United States. And I don't know how much it is other places in the world. But yeah, let's look at the packaging of the set. So the burner box does look very nice with nice design. I mean I at least I noticed is that so if you see on last year's Harry Potter sets, like Aragog's Lair, which I reviewed the card. Um, which is a silver, and then on the new set, it is gold. So maybe if they're chain, they change. I do like the gold better just because it just looks more like a. Not just looks better. It's like gold bit better. So the silver does work too. But yeah, okay, that's something interesting. I want to put this on the on the back of the box. It shows the play features and just other just things. Um, on the back of the, on the side, this side, it says, as the mini more version of the shot of the set, of the figures, and it says, components made in Denmark, Hungary, Mexico, China, Czech Republic, distributed in the USA, but like, it's just incorporated in Enfield, Connecticut. On the bottom, it says, the trademark information, um, the item code, the barcode, and the paper and plastic, plastic, and mixed packaging from responsible sources, FSC, apparently. That's something. So yeah, now let's look at the instructions. So the instructions that show the set. Um, Lego Life ad, I think, or something. Um, some advertisements for the new sets, which I really, I like. I want this one and this one. I might not get this one because I already have a Hagrid set. And yeah. Then the pieces and this wind guy in the back. Now let's look at the minifigure. So the first minifigure of the set is Harry Potter himself. And he's not an exclusive figure. He actually comes in... In um, the um, night bus and the um, what is it, Hagrid's hut, in the same in this wave, but the but those sets are are like the night bus is forty, and the Hagrid's hut is sixty. So yeah, and he actually has the same hair piece as the old Harry uh, the Harry Potter from last year's sets. Yeah, he has a different face print that's actually in mostly a lot of the other sets. Like it's in a lot of the other ones. And yeah, if you take them, he has an alternate face with a happy face. And this one actually kind of looks like the one, the one from the 2010 Harry Potter set, which is pretty, which is something cool. And he has a brown, dark brown wand, and he has a mid, the mid legs in like a dark tan color, in the dark tan color, which is something very interesting. And yeah, he's a pretty cool figure, and he's just the cheapest way to get a Harry Potter in this wave, at least, it's cheaper to get to Harry Potter just on shelves. Currently, it's just, you know, is the Hagrid Argos layer. But if you want a teenage Harry Potter, this is one of the cheap ways to get it. Yeah, so yeah. Let's, now, let's go to the next figure. Then we have one of the main, one of the big exclusive minifigures in this set. The, um, amazing series Black. And he, and this is, um, and actually, with, with, so yeah, he actually has Old Man Luke's hair in a dark brown color, which is something very interesting. And it's kind of like a prison outfit sort of thing. And actually, so I couldn't find my custom series black that I made. I think I made a video on it. If I can, if I can find that video, and if I did make that video, I can, I'll link it. But yeah, it's definitely a very cool figure. He actually has a very nice face, actually. And he has a very, he has a kind of like smirk sort of face on the back. As the back or front print, I don't know which one. And yeah, it's definitely a very cool figure. It's very, it's actually exclusive for now, at least. And it probably will stay exclusive because, like, maybe the head and the hair might become, like, come in like Order the Phoenix sets or something. But the other ones, but the actual, but the this bottom piece probably won't. So yeah, that's on the next figure. So yeah, so this Dementor, yeah, we actually get two of the Dementors in the set. I'm only putting one on the stand though. And yeah, he actually also came in the um, Hogwarts Express. And I don't know if he's going to come in any others after this, but this is definitely a cheaper way to get it. And you can see a very nice torso print and face print. You can see this nice hood and a very nice ghost piece, like ghost piece, and a very nice um, ripped sort of thing. Um, I think this is the reason that's why they're like this, is because, because of this. Uh, because it's ripped, so it has to be. Let's move on to the next video. So next figure is this very nice, like, um, stag patronus. 
it's a very nice, um, like, glittery looking, glittery little look to the figure. It's really cool. You can take off this little piece, and you see it has a nice silvery, glittery look, and, and you also get one of these pieces in blue, and you, you, you just fit it in here, in here. It's pretty cool. So yeah, the way this works is that the bottom piece is like um, plastic and the top is like rubber. It's like a rubbery, sort of fun to play with thing. And yeah, it's pretty cool. I hope this, I hope that this kind of gets reused in more um, realistic colors and some more um, city sets that or friend sets or frozen sets or whatever they have and they put, they have. And yeah, it's definitely pretty cool. Let's move on to the build. So there are two builds, the big tree, the um, beach side and there's the tree. That's our beach side. So you can see it's a nice, um, beach where you can sit serious black down here. You can lie serious black down here. It's pretty cool. Yeah. You can see the varying build, um, and this is, um, it's not exactly a very complex build. Definitely very cool, but a little rock. And then, yeah, definitely indicates what it needs to a little great lake, sort of, indicated. And, yeah. And there's a very nice, well-built tree. I like it. It doesn't look great out from the back, but... This is very nice, very curved build, and they're very nice, um, leaves up here, very nice leaves in the spring green sort of color. And yeah, definitely use some very nice techniques, definitely very cool. And yeah, leaving some little twigs and little slope pieces. Definitely a very detailed, very detailed for a tree, for a tree build. So yeah, it's definitely a very cool build. Now let's move on to the side build, the next build. So yeah, this is another one of those very well built detailed trees. This one's a bit more like it's a bit more like the mirror effect almost. It's a mirror effect almost, sort of. And yeah. And the main thing that makes this one different though is that this one has a stud shooter. You might be wondering why is there a stud shooter? Well it's sort it does seem sort of like a kind of a thrown in sort of feature. But it's definitely a very cool one. So you can say like Harry goes like Expecto Patronum and then he fires a thing, and then the mentor falls down, and this piece also falls into the floor. Yeah, yeah, and there's just, uh, then just kind of stays on there, that thing cool. Yeah, definitely very cool, but I think now we should move on to the final, that, that's kind of this build, that's on the final verdict. So the final verdict, this is a very cool, um, set, a very cool Lego set. Um, definitely very, uh, pretty good deal, not the most pieces in the world, but you get a very, a good build, you get nice... It's a nice mold to get a very nice little blue thing. It's very nice. And yeah, and it looks very nice here, actually. This is like where I'm a temporary display. Yeah, it's kind of messed right now. I'm gonna clean it. I'm gonna clean the Harry Potter display and make it like, like, like a display. And yeah, it's definitely very cool. So yeah, I do recommend this set if you have the $20 and you're a Harry Potter fan. And yeah, that's the end of this video. I'll see you all later. Bye.